How's it going YouTubers? This is Iron Fist LMS once again coming to you from the LMS live stream over at Twitch TV. Now I haven't released a video in quite a long time and unfortunately I've been having a lot of issues with my video editing software as well as video recording as well. But the good news is I'm all sorted out, I'm back up and running and I should be releasing videos on a much more regular basis from now on. So stay tuned to the channel for more Planetside 2 content. Now today I have the very first episode of a brand new series that I'm going to be doing called the Planetside 2 Flight School. The Flight School is just going to be quick, short and easy to follow videos featuring the very essential tips and tricks that you guys need to know about flying in Planetside 2. So let's get underway. Now the focus of today's episode is going to be on something that a lot of newer pilots as well as more experienced pilots have been struggling to learn. And that is what's known as the banking turn. Other people also know it as the opposite direction turn. Really doesn't matter what you call it, it has the same effect at the end of the day. Now this maneuver is absolutely essential and you really can't learn anything more advanced such as the reverse maneuver before you can actually do this properly. A lot of pilots have been trying to move on to more advanced stuff before they can actually do this properly and that is why they are struggling so much. So today I'm going to try and stamp it out once and for all. I'm going to try and teach you guys how to do this turn properly and most effectively. Now in order to learn this turn properly as well as a lot of other maneuvers in Planetside 2 you first really need to get into your head that this goes against all logical flight mechanics, it goes against physics and fundamentally it really goes against everything that your brain is telling you should work. Now if you try and fly in Planetside 2 using the old sort of you know traditional flight mechanics that you've learned in other games such as Battlefield then you're really going to not you're really not going to do all that well. It may work for you, but you're going to get outclassed by pilots that fly with this style. So you really need to sit down with a clean state, a clean head, and just give these maneuvers a try. In, at the end of the day, you're trying them in the warp gate, so even if you crash into the ground the first few times, it's not going to matter for you. Now the key to learning this maneuver is all about teaching yourself that you always want to be banking in the opposite direction to that of which you want to turn. So if you want to turn to the left you must always be banking to the right. Now the reason for this is because the banking turn which you accomplish like that is a lot faster and sharper than the standard turn of which you'd be rolling to the left and then trying to swing yourself around to the left. Like I say, it really goes against normal flight mechanics, but once you try it and once you accomplish it, you're going to really realize how much of a difference it makes and how much faster you can turn your aircraft around. It also means that you're a lot more controlled when you have completed the turn, so if you've got an enemy aircraft behind you, you can simply turn around and engage them rather than keep spinning around and end up in a sort of, you know, spiral that most dogfights end up in of you chasing each other round and round in circles. To start learning this maneuver you really want to be inside a friendly warp gate and you need to start out by doing it very very slowly. Don't try and go straight into a full speed turn because you're just going to frustrate yourself and you're going to say you know I can't do this, this is too hard. Try and teach yourself in baby steps guys, do it one step at a time, start off really slow and once you're more confident doing it like that you can move on to doing it, adding more speed and more height and other things like that. Now to do the banking turn is really really simple guys. All you have to do if you're using the default key bindings is use the S key to slow your aircraft down and kill your momentum. Once you've done that you need to roll your aircraft on its side using the mouse and then continue holding the S key. You need to be pressing the A or D keys in the opposite direction to that of which you are banked. So if you're banking to the right you need to press the A key. If you're banking to the left you want to be pressing the D key. Now once you press all those keys you can then use your mouse to simply swing your aircraft round on its side and complete the turn successfully. So I'm going to give you guys an example. Here while I'm practicing in the warp gate I'm banking to the, I want to turn to the left so I'm banking to the right. So what I want to be doing is as I'm flying towards my turning point which is the aircraft spawn. I use the S key to slow my aircraft down and to kill my momentum. I then roll my aircraft onto its side, bank it to the right, use the S and the A keys and the mouse to swing it round on the point. Now you want to practice this thing over and over again and I recommend flying between the two aircraft spawn points in your warp gate. It sets you a basis of where you want to be turning and it also allows you to see kind of what degree you've turned at. 
at the end of the day, ideally you want to be turning 180 degrees to face back where, you know, to turn around and face back where you just came from. So use those two aircraft spawn points as a good judgement. As I say, start this off really, really slowly and once you're more confident, you can add more speed into it, add your afterburner into it as well. Now, once you've really got that turned down, you can also start adding your vertical thrust into the turn, as I'm doing here. What I'm doing is basically using the vertical thrust halfway through the turn when I've just started swinging the aircraft around with my mouse. Now what this does is it just speeds the turn up that little bit much, that little bit more and it also allows you to elevate a little if you're flying really really close to the ground. Now as I said this maneuver is actually a precursor to a lot of other more advanced maneuvers such as the reverse maneuver or other dogfighting maneuvers as well. Now you can use this turn once you've got it perfected to go straight into a reverse maneuver during a dogfight. Now what this allows you to do is quickly turn around on any opponent that's following you or chasing you on your tail and turn around to face him during his reload so you stand a fighting chance even if you have an enemy aircraft get the jump on you. Now I did film this from a third person perspective as well so you guys can get an idea of what it should look like from the ground or from another person's view. As you can see it's a really really fast and sharp turn and it's actually more difficult than you think to track um, as an enemy aircraft. So if you're chasing somebody and he pulls this maneuver it's actually surprisingly difficult to hit. So keep practicing this guys, Stay, stick to your walk gates until you're more confident and uh, the best thing you could do is actually to get a buddy to spot you while you're doing it so that he can check whether it matches up with uh, the third person perspective in this video. So that's all for today's episode of the Planetside 2 Flight School. I will have the next episode out in the next couple of days so do stay tuned to the channel. Thank you all very much for watching and I really do hope this video helps you guys out. Don't forget I also completely welcome any sort of comment, feedback or suggestions you guys might have in order to help me improve my content for the future. If you do like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time guys take it easy and have a good one.